To perform during a Grand Prix, Formula One drivers have to be fit and healthy, with every component of their training and diet intended to make them quicker on race day. There is no doubt that Formula One drivers are some of the fittest athletes on the planet, but how do they train and what do they eat? Want to know more about it? Stay tuned to find out. But before we get into the video, if you are new here, please press the bell button to stay up to date and hold on tight, because we are going on a very informational journey. Despite what they may not show on TV, the drivers experience punishing forces on a qualifying lap that most people would find too difficult to tolerate after just a few seconds. Modern Formula One drivers have to train like elite athletes when they do this, lap after lap, and most races last around an hour and a half. So it's not hard to imagine why they have to train like this. As far as Formula One's earlier years are concerned, and even in the 1980s, staying fit was widely accepted, but the rigorous approach to training and conditioning is a fairly recent phenomenon. Furthermore, it is natural for most people to imagine that sports are grueling physical activities, requiring practice over years and years. Compared to other sports, motorsport may not seem like it is as physically demanding, but even steering a high-performance car for nearly 300 kilometers can be quite exhausting. This raises an interesting question of how do Formula One drivers prepare to compete? Also, what training does a person need to undergo to be in peak physical shape? To do that, let's examine what it takes to drive in Formula One. One driver's experience 4 to 5 Gs of force while racing at speeds of 300 km per hour and beyond. Unlike any other sport, racing demands that a driver is able to deal with these extreme forces throughout the race. Also, the driver could make one slight error on track and it could be fatal, which is why they spend countless hours learning before they are allowed to enter Formula One. Furthermore, training for drivers typically consists of specialized equipment and routines that engage specific muscles and test their abilities. So, in this video, I'm going to reveal some of the exhausting workouts that Formula One drivers undergo. First, let's start with the current world champion, Max Verstappen. After some outstanding performances, the Red Bull driver finally won the championship last year, after making Hamilton look foolish with his performances. As revealed by Verstappen's performance coach Brad, Verstappen is quite disciplined in his approach and doesn't treat training as a hobby. Like most of his opponents, he spent a good amount of time working on his neck, doing neck twists, chin-ups, and various other exercises with resistance bands. While keeping a constant core workout, he alternates between working his upper and lower body on different days. In his hybrid routine, Verstappen often performs kettlebell exercises such as squats, lunges, and rows with a medicine ball. Usually, he goes for a run and explores the area since he doesn't like to train at the gym and loves being outside. Also Verstappen has admitted to preferring to train from home using his bike. Since he's still young, he is also very adept at handling jet lag, which also has a big impact on his performance. Then, there is Lewis Hamilton who has focused on staying fit and healthy since he became world champion in 2013. Furthermore, Hamilton keeps himself busy when he is not on track, by participating in activities such as surfing, skiing, Muay Thai, and Pilates. Other than these, his exercise routine includes a wide variety of exercises, including Romanian deadlifts, goblet squats, dumbbell press-ups, half-kneeling shoulder presses, and seated Russian twists. Moreover, his approach to staying in shape is pretty open, and he even admitted to liking lifting weights, though he must be careful not to overdo it. You can't be too heavy as a Formula One driver. More muscle means more kilos, as well as putting too much muscle on your arms and shoulders since you need a low center of gravity to drive the car. And as a driver, you should have a healthy cardiovascular system. Also, Hamilton has a popular reputation for being vegan and switched to a plant-based diet which keeps him consistently energized. Daniel Ricciardo, he is the next driver to take to the track for McLaren, who has been relatively healthy since his debut in Formula One. His performance coach, Michael Italiano, has guided the 32-year-old Australian to be ready for each season. To name a few of Ricardo's workout exercises, he does head twists, head nods, weighted calf extensions, and prone bridges. In addition to living on his farm in Australia during the lockdown, Ricardo devised new workout routines during this time. Among these were activities like sledgehammer slams, tire flips, sled drags, and more. Moreover, he has also worked hard on reducing his reaction time, a crucial asset in a sport where drivers have to make split-second decisions. Additionally to squats and core exercises, he has also made great improvements in his movement. Then, Ricardo also emphasizes the importance of restful sleep, noting that no matter what you are doing, you cannot function properly without adequate sleep. Even though you can probably get away with a night or two of insufficient sleep, 
eventually it starts to catch up with you. Moving on to the newest member of Ferrari's squad, Carlos Sainz. As a fairly young Spaniard, Sainz has repeatedly demonstrated his superiority on the track, reaching new heights each season as a result of his physical health and his sharp driving skills in Formula One. In Carlos' workout drill, there are three components such as cardiovascular strength and specific training. Meanwhile, his cardio training consists of triathlons where he swims, ride bikes, and runs, while his specific training consists of karting. He also works out at the gym to build up his strength. In addition to the regular workout, Carlos performs bodyweight exercises that target the neck and shoulder muscles. This workout consists of neck lifts, ball throw sit-ups, punching crunches, and a few moves in the box. As part of his daily diet, he consumes more than 2,800 calories, consuming oats, porridge, and toast for breakfast. Next, snack on cereal bars and fruits while eating meals that include tofu, mackerels, yogurt, and salad. Also, Carlos believes it's important to take care of his mental health, considering people often overlook this aspect. Then, he added that there is no one-size-fits-all solution to this issue, but it is crucial to recharge your mind before going to sleep or going to work. To do this, he spends time playing card games, playing chess, and watching some TV. And then we have the Frenchman Pierre Gasly who currently drives for the Scuderia Alfa Tori team. He has built an impressive physique since his early days as a Formula One driver. In Gasly's off-season, training has to be limited to six days per week when he is not racing. Moreover, he splits his time equally between cardio training and weight training. Then, the cardio workout for this individual involves extensive running and cycling at intervals over an extended period. The benefit of this is that it allows him to maintain a heart rate between 140 and 170 beats per minute, similar to when he races. In addition to working on his neck and leg muscles, Gasly incorporates upper body twists, cable flies, deadlifts, and cable rows into his workout. In addition to vegetables, proteins, and salads, he also cuts out sugar and carbohydrates from his diet. And for the last two years, Gasly has been traveling to Dubai with his trainer, before the season begins, to undergo a few weeks of intensive training. This is because after the season ends, he does not get much time to spend working on himself. Given the extensive training required to drive a Formula One car, it's easy to understand why most young drivers begin their career in racing so early in life. And why is this so? It is because, in the cockpit, they face extreme temperatures and risks beyond what is normal for an average person. Therefore, we can only appreciate the skills and talent of every driver on the grid competing for the world's greatest prize. So what can you say about this? Did you expect that their workouts were so intense? Is it possible for you to outdo their insane fitness routines? Let us know your guesses in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe with a post notification, so you don't miss out on Max Verstappen Formula 1.